Crystal, sweetheart, how are you? Wow, uh, I've heard a lot about you. Um, your buddy Dayan down in Nish, Serbia, he was, uh, he's a good friend of mine on Facebook and he actually, he had asked me uh, to maybe talk to you and to, to give you a little bit of information about Serbia and kind of compare Serbia to New Zealand because uh, I know you've been to Auckland and I've been to Auckland and I've been to Australia. I've been to, actually been to New Zealand and, Aus and Australia two times on two different occasions and I love it. I mean, it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous place. It's, uh, you know, the people are friendly. Uh, they, got a, they got a strange accent, you know, I think, but, um, you know, most Americans think that about uh, people that speak uh, something other than American English. But anyway, it's a, it's a beautiful, beautiful country, and I'm sure, I, I hope you're having fun there. I don't know if you're still there or you went back to Malaysia. Um, but I was going to try to give you a little bit of a kind of a comparison. Uh, he told me you're, you're looking at, at maybe starting a business somewhere. And there's a, you know, there's a lot of benefits uh, to starting a business here in Serbia as opposed to New Zealand. Uh, New Zealand is definitely an up-and-coming economy. It's a small country with a small population. Uh, the same with Serbia. Um, but, you know, when you look at everything, first of all, I think the number one thing that you're going to notice uh, is there's a huge difference in the openness and the friendliness toward uh, foreigners and uh, you know from from different ethnicities and uh, races of people you know I mean uh, certain parts of the world are not as open to that and and uh, as friendly and hospitable as they are here in Serbia here in Serbia I, I have I have friends here from one from Libya he's a Muslim um, I've got uh, another Muslim lady she's from Indonesia um, I've got uh, many friends from the United States, Ireland, uh, and no one has had any issues and people and everybody's blown away by the friendliness and hospitality of the, of the Serbian people here. Just unbelievable. You, I, I say that in every single video, but it's true. You know, you, you're not going to find that in, in Australia or in New Zealand or in France or in even you know, in, in the larger cities in the United States, you're not going to find that either. You know, American people are very friendly. I'm from central Illinois, and I think we're the nicest people on the planet because I'm from there, of course. But, you know, most, most places you're not going to find that. You know, but here, I, I sit in this little bar. I'm actually in the museum bar. It's one of my favorite places. Um, I'm here, here about every day, and, uh, you know, some strangers will just come up. Like a guy came here the other day, and he's like, hey, would you mind sitting with me just to speak English? I just want to speak English with you, you know? And just so, it's, they're so open to foreigners. I mean, it's amazing. It's wonderful. Um, another thing, um, if you're looking at natural beauty, I think out of everywhere I've been in the world, New Zealand is one of the best-looking places. I mean, it's got some, wow, you know, some things that will just drop your jaw, you know? It's like, whoa, are you kidding me? You know, gorgeous. I think they shot uh, Lord of the Rings, I think, in uh, New Zealand. But actually, in South Serbia, you know, when you get down to Nish, uh, right around that area, Pirat, and over by Navi Pazar, you know, you've got just about the same look. They look very, very similar. You've got a lot of large hills and mountains and a lot of forests and, and p clean water, you know. Uh, my buddies in Pirat, there was a lake and uh, they went over there and they're drinking the water from coming off this lake. I couldn't believe it. You know, I mean, so there's some beauty, uh, a lot of nature. So it's, it's very similar to that. So if that's your, your uh, choice, give Serbia a shot. Uh, the next one that I wrote down is the cost of um, going anywhere else. When you go to New Zealand, when I went to Australia New Zealand, the plane ticket from the United States was very expensive. And for you, if, if you're someone that likes to travel and you're, you're in New Zealand, anywhere you go, with the exception of Australia, you're going to have to pay probably a seven, eight hundred euro, you know, just to get out of there, to go to Asia, anywhere in Asia, to go to Europe, I mean, to go to Africa, to go to the United States, you're going to pay a ton of money. If you're here in Serbia, you're surrounded by eight, what, eight countries. Um, you've got access. It, Europe is small. You've got access to so many, many m markets here and everything, you know. Uh, it's easy to get to France. Plane tickets are, are cheap, you know, to go to many different countries. So that's another, definitely another benefit for you. Um, the other thing about, I know you was looking to open a business and there's a huge difference here. And I, I know a lot of Serbians are going to watch this and think that, uh, a lot of Westerners or, or people elsewhere are taking advantage 
of the uh, minimum wage here in Serbia. But, you know, it, it is sad and it's disgusting that the minimum wage here is so low and so much lower than every other country in the world. In my state of Illinois, the minimum wage is $7 an hour. And here in Serbia, currently the minimum wage is 19,000 dinars a month. And that's roughly 190 euro a month. In New Zealand, if you're looking to hire uh, some help for your business, the minimum wage in New Zealand is 540 New Zealand dollars a week. And that's roughly uh, 147,000 dinars per month as opposed to 19,000. So uh, the, the, the differences are, uh, are huge. You know, it's about 10 times more expensive in New Zealand to hire employees and such. And then you've got also on top of that, you've got some different costs such as um, insurance and, and different things. Um, the cost of living also is it's a huge difference. I can't really speak for, for Nish. I, I've been there, but I, I've never lived there. But here in, in, uh, in Zrenjanin, which is about the, it's close to the same size as Nish, right? I think it's close. We've we got like 100,000 people in this, in this little area. But here, a really nice apartment I had was 100 euro a month. And that's like 10,000 dinars a month. Um, and you, there, I know a, a lot of places are a little different in price, but they say in South Serbia it's a little bit cheaper. But figure on maybe 150 euro a month for a really nice apartment, you know, uh, that you could get. As opposed to New Zealand, they say in New Zealand you're looking at about um, 400 to 600 New Zealand dollars per week. So that's almost, that's close to what someone on minimum wage would make. So you're looking at probably, you know, eight, nine hundred euro a month as opposed to 100. You know, that's a huge difference. You know, that's another big thing. Uh, the other thing, you know, even though the, the minimum wage here is so bad, uh, you know, and the, and the Serbian people work very, very hard at, at, at some of these factories here in town. I've got some buddies that work at this radiator plant here in, in Zarinian and, and he, they come home, they work many hours, come home filthy, black, you know they're breathing in a lot of crap, making nothing, maybe 200 euro, 250 euro a month. And you know, but the, the workforce here in Serbia is unbelievable. The people are very, 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 very smart. They're bilingual. Uh, they can, so that, that's a benefit over New Zealand and not picking on New Zealand, but you know, if you're looking to reach your business to other markets, you know, the, the Serbian people are, are, are very bilingual. There's a lot of German speakers here, and Italian, French, English is, is almost perfect, you know, and also Serbian. So you've got access to many different markets, you know, with the workforce here. Very educated people, you know, a lot of their, a lot of their classes uh, in the United States, in our high school, we have seven classes, you know, seven subjects. Here in Serbia, some of the students have 15, 16, 17 different subjects they have to do. Unbelievable, you know very smart people here in Serbia. So they get paid bad, but they're smart. So you're gonna have an educated workforce. Um, the next thing I wrote down was you've got access. If you're, if you're a business owner and you're here in Serbia, you've got access to many, many markets. Uh, there's over 65 million people here in, in uh, South Europe or in the Balkans and in and, and, and easy access. So you've got easy access to many, many uh, people that are spending money, you know. The European Union has not, um, Serbia has not been entered into the European Union yet, and I know a lot of Serbians, the majority of my friends do not want that. Uh, I have some that do, they think it'd be a good thing, and, but many of my friends do not. But currently there's, uh, you know, you don't have to deal with those regulations that, that they uh, incur on you uh, and such. Um, there's also the tax rate here. The personal, uh, personal tax rate here in Serbia currently, uh, according to the Zrinian uh, government site, is 12 percent. Um, you've also got a low corporate uh, tax profit rate. It's only 10 percent. So I, I'm not sure what New Zealand's is, but uh, you know that's pretty good. There's a lot of financial incentives here too. Actually, one of my friends here in Zrinian, he's interested in uh, me assisting him in trying to attract more foreign investment and business into Zrenjanin. And man, the city does some awesome, awesome things. I mean, there's currently something called the Business Incubator. It's in this water tower here in Zrenjanin. And they provide, uh, for a business, you have to meet certain qualifications. 
uh, but uh, you have to hire a certain amount of people and be in a certain field. But it's, I think it's mainly telecommunications, but they provide a free, the government pays for it, free phone, free uh, utilities. Um, they provide uh, office space for you and your business for a certain period of time. So it's awesome. I mean, you've got a, a chance to try to start out and, and, and to build your company without you know, going broke. Uh, there's also a couple things here in Zrindian. I don't know if they do it in Nish, but um, for foreign investment, they have a 10-year tax holiday for you, uh, but you have to meet certain criteria. You know, you have to employ a certain amount of people and, and, and such. Um, but also here in Zrindian, they do for foreign investors, um, they provide, there's what's called Greenfield and Brownfield. It's, it's two separate lot locations in the town, and they provide um, free land to certain um, investors if you meet the criteria, which is fantastic, you know. It's kind of sad, really, you know. They, uh, one of my teachers told me last night, she said, you know, they, they do all this for foreign investors. So currently here in Zrenian, and we have a Croatian company, we have a, um, a Norwegian boat company, we've got a German company. Um, but all, the, the majority of businesses that are, are here, the large uh, manufacturers are all foreign investment. You know, which is good. You know, it's good, profitable, profitable for them. That's why they come here. You know, which, but you know, it's hopefully things will change, and the employees here will, you know, have a, you know, in in the coming years or months, they'll have, a, you know, be able to boost their their income. Uh, but currently, it's a great deal for foreign investment. Um, what else do I have? There's also free trade with Russia. Um, and that's a huge market. You've got free trade with South Europe, uh, preferential trade with the United States. So if you're looking for business type, you know, that's it. But, uh, you know, th there's some great things. New Zealand's a great place. I'm not putting it down. Uh, but here in Serbia, I know you're going to love it. You know, the people are going to treat you, you know, just phenomenally um, treat you like a princess. And I know Dayan really cares about you. And, and uh, he was worried. He said he was worried that he was going to go to New Zealand and fall in love and, and not come here, you know. And so, you know, give it a chance. It's a great place, you know, and I'm happy to help. You know, I've been here for it since July, having a great time. You know, it's spring, it's beautiful. You have all four seasons here too. You know, you have a lot of, you'll have your snow, you're different from Malaysia, you know, so it's a, it's a big change. So that's it, that's all I gotta say. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, you can email me. Uh, you can also read my blog, Serbia through American Eyes .wordpress .com, I think's what it is. So anyway, that's it. Any questions, ask Dan. I will answer. Okay? Havala puno. Do Virginia. Ciao.